never really uh, measure my old or uh, either my old axle or a new axle. But this is um, my guess was this was one over uh, 16 inches, and this so this is the outer bearing, and this is the inner bearing, which is uh, one and three eighths of an inch. I don't have the tool to measure this axle. Oh, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, after I uh, greased uh, my wheel uh, bearings and also uh, installed the wheel hub, I took it to um, Sandy Point State Park. When I got to the park, and just before I uh, launched the boat, I saw my grease caps were missing on both sides. So they were overheat. They just got overheat and I, um, so either I put the castle not too tight or the bearing size uh, are not correct, you know. So that's why, because I never really did a measurement and I never really, I mean, when I got the new, I had them side by side and the, the axle uh, looks similar. You know, so I don't have a tool to measure the diameter of this thing and this thing, the outer bearings and the inner bearings. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a fishing line to wrap this around and I'm going to cut it to um, the length. And then I'm going to measure that because that is the diameter. If I take the diameter, um, not the diameter, the circumference of this and also this. If I take the circumference of this, which is equal to 2 times pi times the radius, or the diameter times pi, um, then I can just uh, take the length of this and also this divide by uh, pi, and then I'll get my diameter of these two um, size. Okay, so that's how you get it to um, do if you don't have a tool tool to measure this because you know I don't really need the tool I don't feel like buying just for this work you know so you know so I'm gonna um, measure it and I'm gonna cut it so this is what I'll do I measure this uh, small one here I think it's about here, so I'm just gonna cut here. Oh, just short by a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm gonna. made to these two and then you can see I'm just gonna cut it here and I say that's the correct length so this is the longer one I'm gonna remeasure it yeah, you can see that's about right you know, so that's the length. I'm gonna get the ruler now. Another piece that I cut for the outer bearing fishing line. So I'm gonna measure it. Um, the circumference. This is, uh, you know, if you have something bigger, then of course it's gonna get better. Um, you know, but this is my uh, 20 pounds uh, circumference uh, fishing line. So I'm gonna take a measurement pieces of okay so I took these two pieces of fishing line inside and I used my measure here to measure it 
The shorter one actually came out to be the inner, uh, the outer bearing actually came out to be 3.335 inches. Let me show you. And um, so every little uh, grid is like a point one inch. But let me, um, you know, okay, good. So now that's lined up, and I just need to line this up. And you can see that's a uh, three inches and 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, and then 3.4 four almost 3.4 so I say 3.35 inches because I didn't push this all the way to the left so 3.35 inches okay you can see there because every little grid is a point one inches so because this is 3.5 this is four inches so 3.35 divided by 3.14159 which is the pi you get the 1.0 Uh, spindle or the uh, yeah the axle spindle the spindle on the axle is actually uh, 1 and 1 16 inches which equates to 1.0625 inches so this is um, I don't have the dig if I don't use the digital caliber I just use the 20 pounds fishing line this is what I get 1.066 inches which is very close to the 1.0625 inches I take the bigger, longer line, my uh, powder bearing, and then I took this, um, so this is the circumference, you know, circum, um, prince of, of, um, spindle outer bearing, and now I get this longer line, I measure the circumference of the outer bearing, or the spindle, for the outer bearing and I get um, see I can line it up over here it's kind of hard to do it with only one hand because I'm holding the camera on the other hand so now I press that down there we go so you can see this is 4 inches 4.1 4.2 4.3 4 4.4 similarly instead of uh, and then 4.5 inches I want to use 4.35 inches. If I divide the 4.35 inches, 4.35 inches, divide by 3.14159, which is the pi, I get the 1.38 inches. So I get the 1.38 inches. If I take the 1 and 3 eighths inches, that is 1.375 inches, which is, and I get 1.38 inches, so it's pretty good. You know, so you can see, um, this is this confirms that I do have a standard 84 spindle with the um, outer bearing by uh, taking the circumference using a fishing line, 20 pounds fishing line, and also um, uh, where is where is the other piece? And then also the inner inner bearing for the fishing line, and I was able to get 4.35 inches. I measure that and I divide by the line. basically. The formula is circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. That is the um, formula there. Okay, that's uh, without the digital caliper. That's how you get. Um, that's how you measure it. Okay, and um, I have the digital caliper, so I was able to come up with 1.07, 1.06, uh, uh, 1.05 inches rather. Um, and then 1.37 inches uh, from the digital caliper to confirm that I do have a spindle uh, number 84. Um, okay, so um, for part two of the video, I'll show you my new spindle. I will um, um, have to go out to the boat trailer and then do a measurement there outside. Okay, there you go. There you have it. Here is the digital caliper measure this uh, spindle size you can see it has um, this is the spindle the digital caliber and it uses um, two LAG 13 LR 44 batteries okay and um, use one okay but uh, it came with uh, two more spare as gift so the measuring range is um, up to six inches and the resolution is 0 0.01 inch or 0.1 millimeter or the you know 550 millimeter 
um, for the range. That's the measuring range. And takes the battery of either LR44, SR44, or CR2032, 3 volts, or well, the 1.5 volts. Doesn't matter. So here is the battery compartment, but uh, I'm not going to... And this thing is pretty good because as soon as you open this thing, you know, pull this back, it started to show. You know, so let's um, measure the spindle. So this is, I believe, an 84 standard spindle. Standard 84 spindle. It's very common. Um, this, the axle is, uh, it's a round axle and the spindle is up to... Um, 3750 pounds support uh, 3750 pounds 3750 pounds so um, as you can see right now it's a zero okay so what I'm going to do is I need to measure this one which is outer bearing sits which is um, according to the spec 84 spindle should have a 1 and 1 16 inches which is 1.062 inches so I'm just going to pull this thing back and then you know try to put this in and see if I get the 1.06 okay not quite I got 1.05 inches um, and then the inner bearing is this guy here so as you can see it's pulling out it's measuring 1.37 inches okay then the inner seal is this big one which is showing 1.71 inches okay 1.71 inches for this uh, for this uh, inner bearing here you know Let's uh, go back to that. It's 1.37 inches, and this is 1.05 inches. Okay, so there you have it. That's how, um, or 1.05 or 1.06 inches, you know, so power off. So as soon as you move this thing, it starts uh, the battery, you know, turn on the battery. Um, yesterday, I also cut some um, fishing wires to try to measure without the digital caliper you know without this uh, digital cap caliper you know so I use this uh, fishing wire to you know wrap around the spindle for the outer bearing and that's about the uh, right distance for this uh, outer bearing so I'm going to measure this because the diameter times pi the 3.14156 or 159 uh, times the diameter equal to the circumference. So this is the circumference of this uh, spindle, spindle, outer bearing of the spindle. And then I also cut another one for the inner bearing spindle. So, so I'm just going to take uh, the the circumference um, of these these two. Okay, the two pieces of wire that I cut, fishing wire. I'm going to divide each by the 3.14. 159 which is the pi to get the diameter of this one and this one and see whether or not um, it come close to the 1.06 inches and the 1.375 uh, inches it's supposed to be 1.375 inches for the outer bearing and then this is the inner seal so that's what I'm doing here this is the old axle um, the, measure the, uh, the new axle on my bow trailer now um, for part two of this video. Okay, there you have it. That's the digital um, caliber.